What's up, I'm Hypesy. I play games, make games everywhere. Today, I'm gonna show you how I made my first ever multiplayer game. And if you stay until the end, I'll make another one in minutes. In my multiplayer game on my iPad, but you can also use a phone or a desktop web browser using an app called Hypipe. And the best part, no ads. I don't know how to code, but that's okay. I've made dozens of games and I know how to build out mechanics. One of the coolest features in Hypipe is the remix button that allows anybody to start making games based off of games that have already been made. To start out, let's take a look at the original game, Fall Boys by WT Dream. This game is multiplayer. It has a starting function where a countdown begins. We can break out this game into four separate obstacles. The first obstacle is the spinning helicopters that you have to dodge and jump over. Then the next obstacles are the up and down walls that you gotta time perfectly to make it over, all while competing with other players. The third obstacle is you got huge watermelons, big strawberries. Stick and move, gotta dodge them, get out of the way, and be sure to watch out for the bananas. And then the final obstacle is this cylinder that spins. Make it to the crown before everyone else, and the screen fades away and shows your character doing a dance. If we hit the remix button, we can look under the hood and see how this game was made. Notice little features like the costumes the players have, along with the arrows pointing in which direction you should go, along the sides with the little helicopter spinning things, those flags for the checkpoints. What I did for my game, I removed the obstacles and created my own. So let's take a look at that game. The start of this game is pretty similar, although I changed up the ground and the color scheme a little bit. The latest update also has a chat feature that allows you to chat to everyone in the game or individually. The first obstacle I have are these bouncy discs, which will bounce the character, expand and retract, and also change color. The next obstacle I created, a fake wall and a real wall that randomly switch depending on the spawner. The cool thing about the second obstacle is when I started creating the fake wall and the real wall, I didn't know how to do this. So I just started with the basics and slowly built up until what I wanted to do worked. This is one of the things that I enjoy about game development is sometimes you don't know how you're going to create a certain game mechanic, but you build it up piece by piece until eventually it works. The third obstacle I created was these steps that change color once the player lands on them. And some of them shrink down and disappear. And then the fourth mechanic you see is the spinning cylinder. I like to think that the spinning cylinder helped influence the original game because previously there was a helicopter platform and you can see that in the original game by clicking it, hitting remix. If you go all the way to the end, you can see three helicopter platforms and they got replaced with this new cylinder. Personally, I like this cylinder a little bit better as it's easier to complete the level. When I make a game, I like to add little Easter eggs. In this game, there are bouncy platforms in the back that you cannot get to until the race begins. Once the fence starts going down, you can jump and this will have you skip the first obstacle and land you in the second obstacle. You don't get that much of a lead, but it's a cool fun fact for any players who have seen any of my videos. One of the funnest things I experienced while creating this game was I would often play test my game just to make sure all the mechanics were working properly and sometimes people would join the game so I got to watch other people play the game while developing. Let's remake another multiplayer game. We need to switch it up with four different obstacles. First thing I'm gonna do is hit the remix button to make this game stand out. I'll go in and change the color palette and minor details later. I've already created some assets. Let's go turn the logic on. Here's one, and this is just a rotating platform. Let's select this container, hit duplicate, create new instance. Let's go ahead and move this over here and replace these bouncy discs. Tap and hold to select multiple objects. Delete. The obstacles are rotating 90 degrees every second, either clockwise or counterclockwise. Let's play test this out. It's a little bit difficult, but for now it works. 
Next, I wanna add a cool hammer mechanic that may knock the player out. Instead of creating that mechanic from scratch, let's go grab it in another game. High Pipe has thousands of games and you can grab any mechanic from any game. This game is by the X called Rabbit Run. And what I'm gonna do is grab this spinning mechanic. It's cool because it rotates, but you can also cause this spinning door to spin in whatever direction you like. Let's hit the remix button, find the mechanic, select it. We wanna make sure we get all of it. Tap and hold to select multiple objects. We hit the copy button, exit, and go to our new game under drafts, edit, paste. Let's go to logic. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is delete the previous stuff that is here, which is these spawning nodes. This is what is causing the wall and the fake wall to appear. And next we can add this object right about there. We can make this a little bit bigger, kinda of like that, looking good. Let's test it out. Looks like you can jump over this wall. We're gonna make it a little bit taller. If we go into this object, we can see that there is a current force that causes this obstacle to spin. I'm gonna go in and update this later. So let's play test this again and make sure we can't jump over this. Okay, it looks good. So let's grab this object, hit duplicate. For the third object, we're gonna get rid of all of these steps. I'm going to increase the length of this ramp. This time, we're gonna grab a hammer from that same Rabbit Run game. In this game, there's a lot of cool assets. Notice these hammers, but what we want is this hammer over here. So let's go into this game, hit the remix again, zoom in, grab the hammer, tap and hold to select the hammer and the movement joint. It's like a white capsule. Let's hit copy, go back to our drafts, Fall Boys Donut, hit edit. Turn the logic on. Let's go to the side over here and hit paste. Now we have this hammer. Let's go ahead and move it back here. And now I'm gonna put this hammer right in the middle. Let's make it a little bit bigger, kind of more intimidating that way. And I'm gonna hit duplicate, copy the hammer, move it back over here, and duplicate again. Right now, these cannons are firing balls that shoot down and the player has to dodge. I'm gonna go ahead and turn this off for now. Select interval and turn off executing. Here we got the hammers. Cool, the hammers spin quickly. Let's take a look at the wave generator and I'm just gonna increase the duration time to make them go slower. For these objects, you can see that there is a force amount causing the object to move. Currently set to 60. What I'm gonna do is set this to zero. Have this switch item go into here. Force amount negative 60. The other option is force amount positive 60. Since this object is set up, I'm gonna go ahead, delete these objects. Hit duplicate, duplicate. And when we play test, we can see in the background that the rotating walls are randomly spinning in different directions. And I'm gonna do something similar to the hammer. Go into the hammer, add a switch node, probability distribution, have two outputs equal one each, on start, wave generator, start value, let's do negative 90. And end value, positive 90. We go in here, we wanna make sure this is set to zero, and let's do the opposite for the second switch value. Start value, positive 90, end value, negative 90. And I'm gonna go ahead and select these, these hammers, delete. Let's go ahead and copy this one, and let's play test. We can see two of the hammers are going in the same direction, and the third hammer is doing the opposite. All right, now we're to the last obstacle. I've already created an obstacle. Each of these obstacles can take anywhere from five minutes to over an hour to create, depending on how difficult the mechanics are. If you're new to High Pipe, check out my other videos that explore in detail how I make these games. From here, we select this container, the duplicate, create new instance. Let's just go ahead and put this one right here. I'll move this one down below. Duplicate, duplicate, duplicate. So these obstacles go back and forth. Let's test it. Okay, and here we can see they're spinning at random. Some of them are the same. And lastly, let's go ahead and change this to a donut. Now we have the mechanics set up for this multiplayer game. I'm gonna go ahead and save this as a new project and I'm gonna call it Donut. The first thing I like to do is set up the mechanic and then I like to polish the game to make it look right. I'm gonna go spend a couple hours with the colors, creating containers. If you wanna check out this game or any of the other games I talked about, links down below. Until next time, I'm Hypesy, stay safe out there and peace.